Hi guys, let's say we have this push button and we want to use it to trigger single shot actions such as a counter or toggling an output. It is wired between an Arduino input pin and ground. First we have to ensure that the input stays high if the switch is not pressed. So a pull up resistor between the input pin and VCC is required. Mechanical switches tend to be bouncy, so a capacitor is required to smooth out the signal. But wait, are all those additional components really required? This test setup only consists of an Arduino Pro Micro, a push button and an LED with current limiting resistor. No pull-up resistor and no smoothing capacitor. This example sketch can be downloaded on my GitHub. The button is connected to pin 4 and the LED to pin 10. First we want to eliminate the pull-up resistor. So we just set the pin mode to input pull-up instead of input. The next step is to write two macros for the detection of rising and falling edges. What they basically do is to record and store the pin states in an endless loop. To detect the debounced rising edge, we need to detect 4 times 0 followed by 4 times 1. To detect the debounced falling edge, we need to detect 4 times 1 followed by 4 times 0. The read button function shows how to call the macros. To provide additional debouncing, it is executed every 5 milliseconds. You can vary this interval to see what works best for you. The rising edge example just prints a message and the value of the detected button stage variable. The falling edge example is toggling the LED and prints a message. Of course you can also do other things. For example menu navigation or adjusting variables. Now let's test the functionality on the test setup. I hope this little tutorial was helpful and will allow you to simplify your button wiring.